I had to change. That's why when you asked me who Constance is at the beginning of this uh, podcast, I told you that has changed. And I used to lead with what I did. Now I lead with who I am, because those are the things that I'm most proud of. Being an insurance professional and being successful in that career is great. It's an accomplishment. And yes, I give myself permission to celebrate myself in that. But at the end of the day, that's not what I'm most proud of. So I lead with those things, the God-given talent I believe God has given me, the God-given relationships and connections I believe God has given me so that I can complete the assignment he placed me on earth to complete. Okay, I, I, what you said kind of just resonated two different things with me that I want to touch on. Mm -hmm. So I love that you have learned to define who you are outside of accomplishments based mm -hmm. on somebody else's standard. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that is, you know, so some one of the thing one of the things that I talk about with um, some of my clients with coaching is identify accomplishments outside of work and school. Like, what are you most proud of? Because society, especially I feel like for Black women, we have been conditioned that success is based on the degrees, the certifications, mm -hmm. you know, your career. And unfortunately, we don't recognize that other things that we do well and are mm -hmm. wonderful and that we should lead with so I love that you said that and you are now at a place where you can do that because that is one thing that I specifically tell my clients, like, think about what you are accomplished outside of all those things Correct. and like sit in that because you don't recognize those. 